This video explains a drill for the classic cross-country ski technique called diagonal stride. This is an example of an athlete diagonal striding up a gentle incline at an easy pace. I want to thank the Canadian skier Olivia Buffard Nesbitt for generously agreeing to be the demo athlete in this video. In diagonal stride, the skier pushes down and back against the snow with one ski while the other ski swings forward into a glide. The down and back push is called a kick and it's what propels the skier down the track. In diagonal stride technique, the, work, the legs work through a continuous cycle of kick, glide, kick, glide. Today's drill is called one ski striding. You can use this drill to work on both your kick and your glide. My name is Kim and I'm one of the coaches from XC Ski Nation, which is an online Nordic ski school that uses videos like this to break down and explain competition style cross country skiing. The cost of a subscription to XC Ski Nation is nominal, so if you enjoy videos like this, please visit our website to learn more. To set up for this drill, you don't need poles, you'll take one ski off and you'll put the other ski into the wrong track so that your uh, foot that doesn't have the ski on is outside of the tracks. To start with, you want to just slide that, um, slide that foot, the ski, back and forth against the snow a little bit and that'll just take the snow off of the base if there's any that's adhering to the kick zone under the foot. And then you're going to bring all your weight onto your foot that doesn't have the ski and set yourself up into your start position. So in the start position, you want to have some flexion through the stance leg. So you want to be um, flexed into your hip and then through your knee and ankle so that your shin is angled forward. The other leg is also bent. And the ski is extended behind you. The ski should be off of the snow. The tail of the, sco the ski should be well clear of the snow, but the tip is still in the track. Whichever side you have the leg back on, that's the side where the arm will come forward and keep that arm bent at approximately 90 degrees. You also want to just take a minute to check your overall posture. Make sure that you've got a neutral spine position and you haven't let your head dump forward through your shoulders. Keep the shoulders down and relaxed and don't carry any tension in your neck. So to get into the action of the drill, you're going to drop down onto that boot, it's onto the stance leg, and push down and back against the snow while the other ski swings forward into the track. At the same time, the arms swing in opposition. So just like in walk, as in walking and running, your um, arms and legs swing in opposition. And then you just hold your balance on that glide ski. And once the glide ski comes to a stop, you just stop and then go back and set yourself back up again. A few of the things that you want to look for. Um, so as you load into this, um, into the leg that's like the kick leg, right? That's kicking against the snow. Notice how she drops down into that leg as she pushes. And then as she swings the other leg forward, she comes onto that ski with the shin bend, with her shin um, angled forward. So it's more common to see people come onto a straight leg and to be more upright. So she maintains that forward position through the whole drill and she keeps the angles at her hips, knees and ankles throughout the drill as well. Another thing that's really common is um, for this back leg, instead of being long and relaxed like it is in this example, it's more common for people to snap it back into position beside the leg that they're trying to balance on. If you can keep it extended behind you, it'll actually make it easier to balance and easier to keep your weight forward because it'll act like a counterweight. And then, like I said, it's important that you stop after each um, each drill and reset yourself up because this um, start position is an important opportunity for you to work on your overall positioning um, and your overall posture. 
So you can use this drill in many, many different ways. When, when you do, it's really more about changing the focus of your attention rather than the drill looking different. So if you were an observer watching someone practice, you might not notice a big difference between the different passes, but the skier could be working on different things, whatever they're directing their attention to. So we'll look at a couple of passes. Olivia just took her attention into a few different things. So in this instance, she's um, focusing, she's going to focus more on her kicking leg. So the leg that doesn't have the ski and trying to drive a really powerful kickoff there. So rather than worrying so much about balance, in this instance, she's putting more of her attention into the action of her kicking leg. And there she's happier with that pass so just like she's doing if you feel like you didn't quite get it with the pass then you just stop reset and try again in this example she's going to put more of her attention into what her arms are doing and using a strong arm drive to drive her kick so the action of the arms will translate into the legs again she didn't love that pass so she just goes back sets herself up again takes a minute to get strong, practices the movements a little bit, and then launches herself forward. So this is a drill that is as interesting as you make it. You can really work, use it to work on the details, um, like I said, of your arm action, of your kick, your glide, your overall positioning. All these details and nuances are ultimately what will separate an expert skier from an average skier. It's the attention to these details that can really help you take your skiing up to the next level. If you enjoyed this video, we have dozens and dozens of videos of expert skiers and coaches inside XC Ski Nation. As I said, the cost of a membership is nominal. Please visit our website to learn more.